We're running! Now you probably tried it. You see this fancy looking cheap RC car in the shop and you buy it and you give it to a kid to a birthday or something. But the kids can't drive these things. They start slamming into stuff and you try to say, no, 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 let go of that button now. Stop, very far already, stop. But they just can't control it. So wouldn't it be nice if the car had a sensor that would make it stop just before it hits something? First thing you gotta do is see what chip is inside of the car, and then you find the data sheet on that. When the remote's forward button is pressed, a single pin on this chip will go high. Your job is to locate this pin and insert a microcontroller right before this signal reaches the wrist. I scraped away some of the cover track and on each side of it I soldered a wire. These two wires are going to be hooked up to an in and output port on my microcontroller. The microcontroller and board I chose for this one is named Exit 230. It's an extremely small and easy to work with package, it's ideal for projects like this. In order to estimate the distance ahead for the microcontroller, it will need to have attached a distance sensor. I choose the uh, Maxona EC1 for Max Budget for this one. Now before moving on, I was just testing if it was actually working as planned so that the car would only drive forward if I was pressing the forward button on the remote control and the two wires that were covering like the space that I cut on the PCB board was actually touching each other. And it worked! Now the microcontroller needs some power but that's rather easy because the exit 230 needs anything from uh, 3 to 5.5 volts so I just hooked it up straight up to the batteries. Then the sonar it needs some power as well but I just hooked that up to the uh, XC230 module as well. Between the two of them I hooked a yellow cable so I can get the uh, analog uh, distance measured from the sonar and into pin 1 of the microcontroller. So now that it could read distance I thought it was about time to enable the microcontroller to actually control whether or not the car was driving. Now that was easy, I just placed the microcontroller in the circuit where I scraped the cover off earlier. You know, out from the board chip uh, into pin 3 uh, on my microcontroller. And now my microcontroller knew if I was uh, pressing forward on the remote it could sense that. And then out from pin 2 on my microcontroller, uh, straight up to where the board uh, used to get the signal from the old chip. And uh, now I could start and stop the car in, in the forward direction only. And you notice that it's it's only in the forward direction because the car will still be able to reverse if it's close to an object and the, and the p person controlling it is uh, pressing the reverse button on the remote. Cool. So there it is, the safe driving program. It makes the car stop if there's an object in front of it. Coming to think of it, it's kind of boring actually. Wouldn't it be more funny if you like reverse it? <laughs> I am evil uh, robot driver. I am just a paper man. <laughs> Come closer, paper man. Oh, okay. A little closer like this. Yes, yes. Is that all right? Yes. Trust me. Trust me. Come closer. Like this. Yes. Oh, ah! oh my God. Stop, stop. Why won't you stop? Because I am evil robot driver. When I see something in front of me, I will not stop. Now that may defeat the object, but hey, taste is individual. Perhaps you like a car that won't stop once it hits something. Gets me to think about a project I did a couple of years ago where I took uh, two cars and uh, mounted two uh, distance sensors on each of them. And uh, by some nifty code, I actually made these two cars uh, dr drive and race each other. And uh, you know, even if they got stuck in corners or something, uh, they were backing out and they were driving pretty autonomously. And I think I'd like to try and show you that piece of program next week. I don't know if it'll be too nerdy and too boring to go through a piece of program on a video on YouTube, but I think I'm gonna try it. So, see you next week and thank you very much for checking in this week. Bye.